Indiana play. Steve, we, we saw a couple of different things in this game tonight, but uh, I think one thing that really stood out to me was playing without Joey Brunk, the defense for the Cardinals tonight was pretty solid. This has been uh, a test, really, and I mentioned this early in our broadcast tonight. This is a team that's going to have to come to the answer when you're down with, uh, without your best player on the floor, and they really answered that call here tonight, Thad, by uh, playing pretty good defense, denying the three-point shot of Bloomington North in the second half, and getting to the free throw line, but Paul Scruggs really gave them the biggest lift in that first half with the 18-point marker. Scruggs with 18 in the first half, four of four from three in the first quarter. Really got the Cardinals out to the lead. It did get close. The Bloomington North Cougars did take a lead in the second quarter, but Scruggs and the defense was too much. The other key thing I thought that the Cardinals did very well tonight, and you touched on it uh, late there in the second half, was they really kept the turnovers to a minimum tonight. They really did, and uh, again, just because you're easing into the schedule, uh, now five games in, six games in, and uh, every game out certainly gives you a little bit more uh, chemistry amongst each of these players. And when you're going deep into the bench, playing eight, nine, ten players, you got to have that sort of chemistry. Let's talk about what uh, Coach Simpson and you talked about in the Coach's Corner segment in the pregame show was just the way that they're still trying to get Jamie Burnett, Blake Evans, and Harold Bennett to fill that spot that was left voided by Malik Bennett after graduation last year. But today, Jamie Burnett with three big threes, and Harold uh, Harold Bennett really handled the ball well, struggled a little bit from the free throw line, but kept the turnovers down. Well, many, many times in the first half, as especially in the first half, uh, it was uh, Burnett as well as Bennett getting some pretty good shots out on the perimeter. They just weren't falling. Finally, they start coming down at the right time. So, again, a great team effort all around for Southport tonight to earn Conference Indiana win number two. We're going to take another break here on the Brass Tax Accounting Post Game Show. When we come back, we'll wrap up with final stats and statistics and scoring from tonight. We'll break everything down by quarter and by half. As, as you've been listening to Southport Cardinal basketball right here on Indiana SRN. <laughs> 